guys, on the last episode, we became uh oh My the uh the greatest assassin of all time Ezio Adududududu that's his name uh yep too bad Ubisoft ruined their fucking character but it's okay uh, all right. Speaking of getting mad at video game companies, I, oh, not that way. I want to talk about, um, how people are treating Game Freak right now. What the fuck? I need, okay, go down. <laughs> get him! Get him away! hurry, get him! People, so Game Freak said that they can't have every single Pokemon in their newest game. And I totally understand that. Like, how the fuck are, are we supposed to have over a thousand Pokemon in a single, like, cartridge? That's too much. That's too much programming. It's too much whatever, you know? It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It... I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. <gasps> I'll clear everything up. How? <gasps> the Who is there? Given <laughs> Batman? Conspiracy <laughs> against your family and against Anyways, the city. Anyways, um... I think I've seen what it's like Thank for you, game developers course, and people who work for game companies. I've seen the kind no, of shit that they go through. The They're just people. Don't worry, okay. Um, my uncle, fine. one of my uncles, uh, back when he worked uh, for the Forza company, he um, he was one of like the lead programmers for it. Uh, and he would tell me all the time, this was back when I was first getting into, like, the video game company scene and stuff. Um, he showed me, like, you know, how this isn't a dream job, and he was telling me how, you know, when a game comes out, or, like, before a game comes out, people will send you awful things, like... I was reading, like, how many death threats he got, and, like, do you guys hear my dog right now? She's, like, barking in her sleep. It's really cute, because she's asleep. Anyways, um, so many death threats, so many vile threats, and so many things were sent his way, and, like, you know, he's just a dude. <laughs> like, I don't know. People forget that, like people who work for game companies they're actual people you know they're not like these corporate entities that you can just i don't know so when people are like oh game freak is lazy whatever i still love game freaks games i i do they're i think they've been one and they're a great part of my childhood i don't know so like i think it's so strange how people just turned on them so quickly and like I don't know I I'm not mad at Game Freak at all I'm mad at the higher ups at uh, what's that game what's that game company called I can talk about it after this catch -up. yes the documents that were delivered to you last night I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents He's lying! Need to get closer. He is a traitor. Of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. 
I mean, why do you have to kill the little kid, you know? You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! Hey, grab the boy! He's one of them! Bitch, I'm gonna counter every single one of you. Oh, oh, did you see her eyes? Oh my god, did you see her eyes? <laughs> okay, anyways, I'll continue my conversation. Um, I think people are being fucking stupid about the whole Game Freak thing. I... You know, they're a great company. You can see the passion. Like, it's it's game companies like, um, who the fuck is the game company that like does all this shit to The Sims? Oh my god, I I can't think about. It. Hold on, I I can't think of the name. Sims Four. Let me see. EA, EA. It's, it's the higher-ups at, like, EA that you can tell that... <laughs> Electronic Arts is just so in it for the money, I've and you. you can tell by I've how much DLC they released right and how Italy. there was, now, like, this huge controversy today, with gambling. Rebecca, but, like, you should never blame, like, <laughs> the people who actually, well. like, put in the work. Out. You know? I don't know. That's... This is... I don't know where I'm going with this, but, like, the programmers and the art designers oh and whatever, they, they have nothing... Grinch it's like... Them, I don't know. They have nothing to do with, like, so many guards. Please, come with what direction the we game company goes the in, you know? What so, I don't know. It's just They're whatever. Safe. I, I love Game Freak. I, no. I love Pokemon games. Like I said, I'm not a critical person. My I think people who are critical, they're worthy. And I think people way. who think that Sword and Shield is lazy... You know their opinions are valid and you can think that but never send threats to people you know like never get so fucking worked up that you have to go on twitter and like talk about things that you have no background in you know unless you do then like you're allowed to talk about it in like a in like a friendly matter you know <laughs> um because criticism is important, but when it comes to, like, death threats and stuff... It's not good, so... <laughs> um, what they're doing at EA is messed up, but, like, I would never, like... Send people threats, you know? I can't fucking counter! Oh, maybe it's because... Yeah, okay, I get it. It's because I don't have a sword. Oh, is she walking away from me? Oh, she's cheering me on. Okay. I'm pressing the X button. <laughs> Sometimes I think that the higher ups at Ubisoft, they don't really know what direction they're going in, but like. Okay, come. Stop changing the color of your shirt and let's go. <laughs> Anyways, I, I just. I don't understand people that 
get so mad about games that they have to send people threats. I will never understand that. I'm just not that kind of person, but like, whatever. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, I think Pokemon Sword and Shield, I haven't, I'm doing like a spoiler free situation. So I haven't seen the Pokemon that they released. I haven't seen the world yet. I mean, I saw the first initial trailer, but that's all I've seen, you know? Um, I'm really excited for the game. I really am. I think it's going to be a wonderful game no matter what. And, you know, people are working really hard on it, I can tell. And, um, you know, game companies that crank out games, like, yearly, like, yearly releases, like Call of Duty and, like, it used to be Assassin's Creed, but, like, uh, not really anymore. Kind of. But, you know, those employees, I feel so bad for them because they probably don't have a great work-life balance, you know? Um, and Doug Bowser, that's, like, his priority for this new, uh, new era of Nintendo is they want their employees to be you know, to have a work-life balance. And I think that's really great. And I'm glad that Doug Bowser is doing all the things. And he's, he seems like a very, really honest guy. And I, I appreciate him a lot. Oh, God. I don't have a sword. I can't fucking do this. I can't fucking counter. I'd like. Remember, we took out that Paisan trash? Is this fight going to take like five years? I... Nope. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't have a fucking sword. Maybe I can pick up a sword. Can I fucking do that? <laughs> Hold on. Nope. Okay! Okay! <laughs> no! Oh, their swords just fucking disappear when I kill them. Okay, stop it. I'm gonna fucking grab you. I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna fucking kick your dick. Got it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Wait, I want to pick up this sword. Where the hell's my girl? I don't know where she is, but... <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know where the fuck she went, but I'm going to go on the buildings. <laughs> Come on, please, please. Okay. 
Um. Nope. Okay. <laughs> God. So, anyways, oh my god, okay, um, I, where am I supposed to go? That's the thing. You know what? Next episode, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just whatever. Okay, thanks for listening to my rambling, and don't send people threats. Please be a decent human being, and I'll see you later. Bye!